Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of uh, the day, girl. Today, tea on the go. You know, I am driving, so if I'm not looking at the camera, you know what's the deal. A bitch is trying not to die, okay? So don't worry, like act like you are my co-pilot and you are just sitting next to me and we are just, you know, spilling some tea, talking about our favorite shows and just, you know, having a kicky time, you know? Um, how are you guys? It is Tuesday. We are going through the week. I am, I don't know, I'm kind of like happy this week. I don't know. What about you guys? How are you feeling? I'm trying to do one of these weird, like, uh, hard left. And, like, you know that this is only here in America, right? Like, if you go to other countries, they actually have lights that tell you to, like, go left. Here is, like, every man for themselves, and God will provide that you can do a left. But anyways, um... If you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop, where we keep it real and we mention it all, no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing. We talk about Bravo, reality TV, pop culture. We talk about everything. So you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. First of all, I am so excited. Today, I film a very special um, interview for my podcast and uh, it's coming on Friday guys so you do not want to miss that it's a very special interview a very eye-opening interview so if you're a fan of Vanderpool Rules believe me you are gonna want to hear this interview coming on Friday but anyways uh, it is time to talk about the real housewife of Atlanta girl are you ready we are getting more news about Atlanta okay now we know um, Candy Boros, of course, you know, she's officially out. We already knew that. And we got the news today breaking everywhere. Mm -hmm. Miss Portia Wobadia is officially returning to the Real Housewife of Atlanta for their sweet 16s and I have to tell you I am so so excited about it look it's going to be amazing messy you know of course we you can expect someone trying to ask the questions that we never got answers back in the day you know about Simon and Portia and everything that went down over there but also it happened like well, what was that like two years ago almost three years ago so like I don't I don't think it, it matters that much because it's kind of like okay yeah he snatched the man from you know the other girl but like do we really care at this point anymore you know so and one thing that we know for sure is that Porsche 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 is great reality TV you know and she is gonna bring her a game. I mean, if, if you saw Ultimate Girls Trip 3, girl, Portia, like, Portia got us laughing, like rolling on the floor from episode one. She is, she, this girl, she, she is made for reality TV. You know, she's just made for reality TV. And I think this is exactly what Atlanta needs, okay? Now, there is a lot of rumors going around that Phaedra Parks is also on talks to return to the show, you know? And there is a couple of things here. First of all, her introduction into Married to Medicine has not been as well accepted as everyone thought that it was going to be, you know? But also it's her first season, so there is a chance that she might either, I mean, leave Married to Medicine, move into Atlanta, like, I mean, we all think that she belongs to Atlanta, to be very honest, right? But also, or, you know, it's her first season on Married to Medicine. It's a very different show. So she's also getting used to the Married to Medicine women. So I don't know. Everything could be a possibility. Now, my question is, the last time that Phaedra Parks and Portia Williams filmed together was that very intense reunion, you know, where Candy scream 
the lies, the lies, the lies. Portia Williams was extremely disappointed on Faith Rapports for lying and for saying, you know, all of those horrible rumors that eventually, you know, cost her her job on the show. So if both of them return to the show right now, it will be interesting to see what does that mean? You know, is Portia okay with Phaedra? Because everyone wants Phaedra back into the in, into the show, you know? Uh, Sheree wants Phaedra back, Kenya Moore wants Phaedra Parks back, even though they are might not be on the best uh, spot ever. Everyone kind of like realized that Phaedra is really good TV as well. But they definitely have unfinished business when it comes to, you know, Phaedra and Portia. So I'm very like curious because that could be a potentially really good storyline right there um, to revisit, you know? But just for Portia in itself, I think it's going to be, honestly, I think it's going to be great, you know? Now let's talk about um, Kenya Moore a little bit. You know, there has been, you know, a lot of rumors about Kenya Moore, you know, coming into the next season as well. <clears throat> For a moment, I thought that she might not be returning to the show, especially after she did that interview, you know, with Carlos King, you know, and on other interviews here and there. I think they definitely had her shaking a little bit so for her to do those interviews. But now she's talking a little bit more positive. If you see her latest interviews, she's in a, in a good mood. She's like in a different tone. And I feel that Kenya might be returning to the show as well. <clears throat> it's interesting that we have not heard anything from Sheree, Marlo Hampton, Drew Sidora, and Sania Ross completely, completely done so. You know, like no one has heard anything about uh, those four. So I don't know what could happen moving forward. I'm going to be very honest with you. I mean, I, I like these women, you know, but for some reason... They were just not connecting to the public. And I think, you know, the fact that they that they made the show into a walking infomercial, every single person was trying to sell something. There was not really friendships or connections. It, made, it honestly it made it very hard to follow these storylines. But now if they decided to take a step back, bring some of the old faces, and hopefully, hopefully the new pitches are actually you know, um, connected to the ladies. Not the random, like, oh yeah, I met her like on the street. No, you know, actual friends who have been friends for a while and maybe they even know more than one lady. That's what we need, real connections. Otherwise, it's a little bit hard, you know, um, to really get into these very, very close groups. I don't know. But for now, I'm very excited with Portia returning to the show. I think it's going to be great. It is official, official. You know, she put it everywhere. So let's wait and see what is going to happen next. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Atlanta or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.